Well, the road to the midterm elections is heating up. Several races will decide control of the U.S. House. One such race is Virginia's second congressional district. That's between two-term Democrat incumbent Congresswoman Elaine Loria and Virginia State Senator Jen Kiggins. I sat down with Jen Kiggins, who is Catholic, to talk about her faith and political platform. I am a lifelong Catholic, uh, so I prescribe to Catholic values. This is what has shaped me uh, since I was a child. I'm a product of Catholic schools. My kids go to Catholic schools. You know, they're altar serving now. I'm a Eucharistic minister, so very involved uh, in my church and my faith life. So that's just an important part of who I am. Jen Kiggins tells me her faith guides her votes, including her unwavering support for the unborn. As a state senator in Virginia, she tells me she fought the radical extreme measures Democrats have taken after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. I'm running against an opponent, Congresswoman Luria, who has voted for the Women's Health Protection Act, they call it, which allows for abortions up to nine months, so at any time, for any reason, at taxpayer expense. I'm a lifelong pro-life candidate as well. I recognize that there are some women in crisis and this is a sensitive issue, but I also am a person who has advocated for life in the State House. She is a 10-year Navy veteran flying helicopters during two deployments to the Persian Gulf, and her husband is a former Navy fighter pilot. She says the Biden administration has not prioritized the military and is putting our nation at risk. And I worry about her standing on the world stage. I really feel like we're not the deterrent that we used to be. Uh, we are perhaps not the mil as, as strong as the military as we should be. I, I believe that, you know, again, peace through strength. And I worry that our friends are not trusting us and our enemies are not fearing us right now. Another thing you'd like to see is medical reform, health care reform. Tell us more about that. I want to provide good primary preventative care because this helps, helps to save health care costs in the future. Health care reform is important, but specifically for our geriatric and aging population and the state level, nursing home reform has been a really impart, important piece of things I have advocated for, uh, as, long as, or as well as uh, advocating for our providers. As for her opponent, Congresswoman Elaine Luria, Kiggins so, says she's out of step with what Americans uh, want lawmakers so, to deal worry. with on Capitol Hill, like inflation not the January 6th commission. January 6th. There's not a single person I talk to who says, you know what I really care about is January 6th. What's, what's going on with January 6th? It's a very one-sided investigation. We never hear from the other side, and she's fundraised a lot off of this. But it really, in my opinion, just demonstrates how she doesn't understand what the voters here care about. She adds voters are interested in kitchen table issues. We care about paying our bills. We care about affording gas and groceries. We care about taking care of our families. We care about supporting law enforcement. You know, we care about safe communities and our kids' education. So these are the things we care about. Virginia's second congressional district is neither red nor blue, but is almost an equal mix of Republicans and Democrats, a race that both parties' national operations have poured money into, a race right now rated by election analysts as a toss-up. If voters are on the fence, what do you want to tell them to have them vote for you? My opponent and I are interestingly go head to head in a lot of areas. We're both Navy veterans. We are both women. We are both moms. We are both elected officials. So we both have voting records. It's important that they understand what she has voted for. She votes with Nancy Pelosi 98% of the time. This is not something she will tell you. She will run an entire campaign off of playing to be a moderate when she in reality is not. You've got to have the right candidate who understands that, who can really represent this district well. It is important to note that EWTN News Nightly did reach out to Kiggins' opponent, opponent that is, Representative Elaine Loria. We did not receive a response to our emails or calls for an interview.